Acts of Vengeance. It's directed by Isaac Fontaine and that's what got my attention. I kind of like this guy. He's done some great direct uh, video action movies. He did the, one of the best Universal Soldiers. He did Ninja 1 and 2. He did Savage Dog and other type things as well. And this time, he brings with him Antonio Banderas. Now the story <laughs> is silly, but we'll go with it anyway. Banderas plays a hotshot lawyer whose wife and child are murdered and he becomes a drunkard. He starts to go to bars and get beat up to give himself a sense of payment for the wrongs that he has done. But during one fight that he gets into, he finds a book uh, uh, about a man who carried himself a certain way, a monk or something like that, that took a vow of silence and looked for justice in the world. And he thinks, you know, that's the kind of thing for me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a vow of silence. I am going to learn various martial arts and I am going to find the person who killed my family. That's the basic premise of the movie. It, it, you get an, a narration of Banderas because he doesn't talk throughout the movie. He doesn't talk for large parts of it. So you get him narrating the movie, his thoughts and what he's thinking all the way through it. And the movie stars one other major star, Carl Urban, who plays a small role as a policeman. Now, you can kind of see where the movie's going right from the start. It's a little bit above the regular direct-to-video action because of the calibre of actors that it brings into it. But it does have some good action set pieces as well. Florentine carries over from some of his other movies and creates these energetic and fun-to-watch action set pieces as Banderas and whomever go hand-to-hand -hand combat and it's shot in a very deliberate and very energetic style that I like. Like I said, I've seen other of this director's movies and I do like it and I like the fact that he's kind of edging up that budgetary scale and taking a better calibre of actor with him, although Scott Adkins can always be in his movies because as I've said before on this channel, I'm a huge fan of Scott Adkins. The tale is stupid. But you kind of expect that from these direct-to-video action movies. It's a little bit more fun than usual. It drags its heels in a certain way as well. You expect the story to evolve a little bit quicker than it does. And it drags that element of the mystery of who's behind all this out. Even though you kind of know who it is very early on. What it does do is it truncates the fact of Banderas learning his skills. Being able to fight. Because he goes from being a drunkard to getting his ass kicked constantly to somehow mastering martial arts in a montage. Now, I'm like everybody else. I like a good montage, and this one does have one, but I just didn't buy the fact that he learned all these martial arts. What am I saying? I didn't buy the fact. The guy takes a vow of silence and somehow gets super hearing. This actually happens in the movie. Like I said, it's ludicrous. It's crazy. It's kind of fun. It's got some good action set pieces. If you're looking for something where you can disengage the brain, have a little laugh at have some enjoyment in the fight scenes, then this is a movie that you're probably going to get something out for. For everybody else, avoid like the plague, you won't like it. For me, a fan of direct-to-video action movies, this kind of falls right in the middle. It's a 2.5 out of 5, nothing more than that. I am curious, however, how Florentine takes this bigger scale and moves on to something else. I would like to see him handle a big budget and get some bigger stars what did you think of Acts of Vengeance? Let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this direct-to-video action movie. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.